Welcome to our channel. On a Unify controller in Wi-Fi settings, there's an option called Captive Portal in Hotspot settings. If you go to the settings for the hotspot, you'll see that they have a simple interface for designing the Captive Portal. You have different options like you can change the text and the logo and you can add your terms of service and change the colors and so on. Uh, but it's very basic. For example, you cannot collect information from your users like their name and email address or phone number that could be useful for marketing. It supports some other types of portals too, but their functionality is also quite limited. Unify also supports an external portal server where you can create a customized captive portal exactly based on your needs. But configuring that requires knowledge of web development and system administration, which is hard for many users. There are several services out there that provide the service of hosted external captive portals. But A, they charge a monthly fee and B, when using their services, all the data of your customers is going to be hosted on their servers. And many users are not comfortable with that. They prefer a simple solution where they can easily set up and manage their captive portal and their users data. So we at Splash Networks have created exactly that. Let me just show you a quick demo. This is the Splash Air Captive Portal Management System. It's very simple to create a portal template. We just click on the new template button here and it gives us a portal where we have the option of collecting data from users like their first name, last name, email, phone number and so on. If we want to enable or disable some of the fields here, we can do that. We can change the placeholders of the fields too. So for example, if you wanted to have these in a different language, you could do that. And you can change the text displayed on the portal as well from here. Let's say we want to disable a few fields. It's very simple to do that. We can change the logo here and you can add your own logo to the portal to give it a customized look. Suppose we want to change the color of the button to match the logo. We can do that. And if you want to change the text of the button, that's also possible. It supports different types of flows. A flow is the process the user will go through to get access to the Wi-Fi network. In OTP flow, for example, they'll get an OTP which stands for one-time password and that will be used to confirm their phone number or email address. This is so that users don't just enter dummy data because the data can come in handy for marketing later on. We'll enter a name for the template and then we can save it. Now, to link this template to our Unify network, we'll just add our Unify controller through this widget. The Unify controller does need to be accessible from here. Then we can select the site on the Unify controller on which we want to apply the portal. So here we can see the site ID. So we'll select this site ID and we'll also select the business and the venue, which I've already created in addition to the template that you just saw. Then we'll click on next. We want these settings to be applied to the Unify controller to enable the external portal server. Next, we'll go to the Unify controller and we'll click on refresh. We can see that now external portal server has been enabled and it has the IP address of our Splash Air captive portal. In settings, we'll just uncheck the encrypted URL option and we'll click on the domain and we can see that the domain is already present here as well. So we'll save it and we can see that the settings are being applied. So we'll just wait for it to be ready. So the settings have been applied and now we'll see what the user experience is like for the Wi-Fi user. The user is connecting to the Unify network and they get a pop-up to sign into the captive portal. This is the captive portal that we just designed in a couple of minutes. They'll enter their name and email. 
and the user is authorized on the network. Now, if we go to the customers tab, we can see that the data entered by the user is present here. And if we go to the customer visits tab, we can see the details of the visits are also here. So, for example, if the same customer makes multiple visits, you'll see the details uh, of all their visits along with timestamps. If you want that the customer just enters their data once and they don't have to do it again and again every time, that's also possible. Also, we can control the time for which the user has access to the network. If we go to portals and we select our portal, we can see in portal settings the setting for duration for which the user is authorized on the network and expiry which controls the number of days for which the user doesn't need to enter their data again. So this was a demo of the Splash Air Captive Portal system. You can purchase it directly from our website and we'll help you with the initial deployment and setting it all up. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks and have a nice day.